Today is Tuesday, June what? 20th. 20th right? We are going to change the belt that spins the, the blade. I don't, I'm not sure the name of the belt. There's a belt here that hooks to both blades on both sides, and there's a belt that goes from the engine to here, which is the pulley that spins all the blade, the two blades on the mower. It's a commercial 30X mark. And then there's one more belt for the transmission that you have to pull off in order to get this belt. Now I'm not using the right tools, but I just need to get it done. So if you unloosen, if you undo this bolt, and I think I've, I don't know if I've changed this belt ever before. So we'll take this off. Because you can't get the belt off without it taking this guard off. Normally you'd use a socket wrench, but I don't have that with me right now. Because I don't have one, but I don't think I have the right socket. Okay. So you don't have to really take it all the way off. Just move it out of the way. Then this comes off here. So then we flip up the mower. And then this is the transmission, and hopefully I can get it back on. But the belt goes over the bottom pulley, and then this is the other belt. So you pull this off over top of this pulley here, and then that's your belt. That's yeah. the old belt? Yeah, hopefully they gave me the right one. Let's see how loose it is. Wow, yeah, look at the difference. I mean, it's definitely worn out, so yeah. it will help. So... Let's see if this is not a pain. So we'll slide it back over this pulley. Here. And then there's a metal bar in here. You have to get it to that side. Which I can't get it, so maybe I'll come in through the other way. It's easier to go in through the front. So, go in through here. Hopefully it's the right belt, because I don't think it is, but I'm not sure. Sometimes they know what they're talking about. Everything's always a little harder than you think. I can't get it down to the point. In the first years of lawn care and landscaping, there are so many trials and errors that... And I'm by far no mechanic. No, and you <laughs> have to learn to do stuff like this. On your own to save money. Um you know it's we're in a position finally that it's not gonna break us to have to buy pieces or to replace like the transmission but there definitely was a point in time that you know when something broke we were stressing stressing and because we did not or didn't always have the money to invest back My into goodness, i can't even get it in My hands are smaller. Do you want me to try? Uh, it's just that I can't get it through this little tight space here. I mean, I probably should be taking... Nah, there we go, I think. Okay. There we go. So you just have to finagle it to get it in. <clears throat> and you want to flip the mower up this way so the exhaust is down on the bottom. You don't want the flip it up the other way. Okay. So, got it over this pulley. Okay. Here. Okay, and then I see it right in there. Let's see. 
Uh, Got to get it back over it. Maybe I shouldn't have put it on that one first. You have to get them over this pulley here. Let's stick it around the second pulley. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so it goes, you guys see that it goes on the pulley closest to the top of the deck. Then, <clears throat> getting this belt back on should be interesting. So this belt, which is the transmission belt, needs to go back onto that pulley, which ought to be fun. I gotta spin this and finagle it around. Oh, hold on. A lot of tension on it. Yeah. But I gotta be able to pull. Wait, there's a spring here that I can't get to, so we'll just have to figure it out. Or. Maybe I'll put it around the small one first and try to finagle it around the big one. Yes, much easier. And this thing is going to have to be replaced, so... The transmission. Okay, so that belt's back on. Okay. There might be an adjustment to this that I can make it work better. I think I need new wheels too. So after that's on, take this, flip the mower back up. And there might be an easier way, but it's fine. So, <coughs> this is the, uh oh, I knew I did something wrong. So this has to go over this wire and back around this pulley. Spin it around. Wow, look how much tighter it makes it. Oh, wow, much tighter. So, in turn, I might actually have to loosen this cable. Yeah. So, uh-oh. I always manage to do that. I don't put my bolts back where I'm supposed to. So I tend to maybe lose them sometimes. I need to get organized a little better. <laughs> So, but that's also a money issue too. Yeah, when you're limited on resources, you can't buy all the tools you need for your business. And because we have four kids, we have to manage things a lot, a lot more. I mean, we had kids before we started the business. <laughs> yes. But wouldn't change it. But we're in a better position this year because we upgraded equipment and then next we'll just yeah when we started in 2010 we started with broke yeah completely broke and um we had just a self-propelled push mower like a homeowner's self-propelled push mower like right? most people i'm sure start that way but yeah i mean we did it with we had three kids at the time and no money mm -hmm. and just took a shot. We actually moved 800 miles away from where we grew up our whole lives and just started from nothing. Now the only thing I don't like about this is this cable touches my belt there. So I wish I could tie it here, but I can't. So I'm just going to have to deal with it and keep that belt just in case something happens. Right, so then our next step is to order this <clears throat> cable. Which they didn't have in stock, which right. runs all the way up here to engage the blade. So I'm going to start this thing and see what it does. Okay. Don't you don't even have to bungee. I, I don't like that though because 
when you're starting it, it's I think it's putting a lot of stress, not stress, but just more tension on the belt because it's starting up and spinning at the same time. You know what I mean? Right. But I mean, we need to get that cable fixed ASAP. So guys, when you're waiting for parts for something and sometimes you just have to use the mower, you can't go without it. If you can rig it up to where it does, what happened is this cable broke here, which engages the, um, it's supposed to go in here, which engages the blade. It moves this piece here to engage the blade to spin. So what I did while I'm waiting for the part to come, I just tied the cable right to here, put a loop in it, so then when you start the mower to engage it, you pull this back and that'll engage your blade. I'll start it up, it's gonna be loud, but I'll start it just to show you what we did here. So for Rachel to use this mower, Not the safest thing but it takes a little while for them to get parts at my place that's the only reason I don't really like to deal with that place much because it does take a while just for a piece for a blade to hold my blade in took a week that's not not good so we rigged it up it'll get us by until they ordered a part and we'll show you how to put it all back together and then we'll change the transmission too eventually and we'll do a video on that. Well, we're off to start our day. <laughs>